Hello dear students, I welcome you all to my channel. So let us begin with the next question for the day that is on exercise 14a we are taking question number 11. Okay, so the question is in front of you as you can see on your screen. So we need to find here the value of a, right? So the only variable that we can see here is a. Okay, so let's find the variable out here, value of variable out here. Okay, so this is the given equation, right? Okay, so as we know, whatever unknown is there that has to be kept in the left hand side, right? So that's why I am taking this a by 5 to the left hand side. That's why it becomes minus a by 5. And this number will go to the right hand side. Okay, so that's why this goes over there and becomes plus here. Okay, so here we have got mixed fraction. So if you convert this into common fraction, so this becomes your 27 by 5. Okay, now in such, such step, what you need to do is first you have to find the LCM of all the denominators. Okay, and since we have got 5 everywhere, right? So here also in the left hand side, we have got in the denominator 5. Okay, so here also we have got 5, here also we have got 5. So that's why automatically the LCM becomes 5. Okay, and please mark my word, how much ever is the LCM, you will multiply both sides by the same number that is with the LCM. Okay, and since the LCM is 5 out here, so I'll multiply both sides by 5. Okay, so we are going to multiply each term with 5 here. Okay, so if I multiply then 3a into 5, a by 5 into 5, 27 by 5 into 5, 1 by 5 into 5. Okay, so each term is multiplied by 5. Okay, so what is 3, 3a into 5? It is 3 into 5 is 15, right? So it becomes 15a. Now here 5 and 5 gets cancelled, so only a will be left. Here 5 and 5 gets cancelled, only 27 will be left and here 5 and 5 will get cancelled, only 1 will be left. Okay, So if I do that, then as I said 3 into 5 is 15, so only a is left, right? Here only 27 is left and here only 1 is left. Okay, So let us simplify this, 15a minus a is how much? It is 14a, right? and 27 plus 1 is 28, right? Okay, so as you know, what you are going to do here? Here you will divide both sides by 14, right? So, or else you can take this 14 to the denominator, right? So, you will take this 14 to the denominator. So, this becomes 28 by 14 and after the cancellation, you will find that your value for A will turn out to be equals to 2, alright? So, you may pause the video to note down. Let's move on to the next question now. So, I am taking question number 12 for you. So again, it's a similar kind of question. So we don't have any problem out here. Okay, so this is given to us and the variable that we can see out here is x, right? So we'll take the term with x to the left hand side. Okay, okay. so here first we have simplified this. So this can be written as 5 by 2. Mixed fraction is converted into common fraction. Okay, so as I said, First, you have to find the LCM of denominators. So, here we have got 3, 2, 9 and 3, right? So, the LCM of the denominators turns out to be 18. And in such case, what do you do? You will multiply. See, as I told here, after finding the LCM, you will multiply each term by the LCM. So, that's why I'm going to multiply each term by LCM that is 18, okay? So, multiplying each term by 18. So, we get x by 3 into 18, 5 by 2 into 18, 4x by 9 into 18, 2x by 3 into 18. Now let us see the cancellation out here. So 3 and 18, they will get cancelled, right? So 3 ones are 3, 3 6 is 18. So 6 into x is 6x, all right? So similarly, you will cancel 2 and 18. So it will be 9. So 9 into 5 is 45, right? Similarly, 9 and 18 will be get will get cancelled. So 9 ones are 9, 9, 18 is a, 9 two is a 18, right? So 2 into 4 is 4. 8, right? So, this becomes 8x. Similarly, 3 and 18 gets cancelled 6 times. So, 6 to the 12 out here, okay? So, that's why I'll get, as I said, so this becomes 6x, right? So, this becomes 45, this becomes 8x and this becomes your 12x, right? Okay, so from here, I'm taking all the x to the left hand side as I need to find the value of x. So, this 8 becomes minus 8x, this minus 12x becomes plus 12 x and this minus 45 goes over there becomes plus 45 okay so simplify this 
So this is 6 plus 12 is 18x, right? So from here, 18x minus 8x is 10x, okay? So from here, this 10 goes to the denominator. So we have x equals to 45 by 10. And if you want to convert this into decimal, then this 45 by 10 becomes 4.5, okay? So you may pause the video to note down. Okay, let's move on to the next question. So I'm taking question number 14 for you. So here again, we can see that the unknown is a, right? Okay, so let us find. Okay, so before we mm, solve it, we see that again, we have got 6, 9 and 4 here. Okay, so we have to find the LCM of these. Okay, so we have got 6, 9 and 4's LCM will be 36. So our next job is going to be multiply each term by the LCM that is 36. Okay, so multiplying each term by 36, then we have this into 36 this into 36 equals to this into 36. So 6 and 36 gets cancelled how many times? It gets cancelled for 6 times. So again 9 and 36 gets cancelled for 4 times and 4 and 36 gets cancelled for 9 times. Okay. So we have 6, in, 6 into 36. Okay. So 6 6 are 36. So 6 into a plus 5. Okay. So we have got 6 into a plus 5 out here. So again, 9 and 36 gets cancelled 4 times. So 4 into this quantity is there. All right. And similarly, 4 and 36 gets cancelled 9 times. So 9 into this term is left here. Okay. So our next job is going to be to open up the bracket by multiplying with the number which is present outside. So we have 6 into a is 6a. Remember, 6 into 5 is 30. All right, so that's what I'm going to do out here. So again, we have got minus on the sign here. So minus into plus, the sign of A here is plus. So minus into plus is minus. So 4 into A is 4A, minus into plus is minus, 4 into 1 is 4. Okay, so I find that most of the students are getting confused here. That is whenever you have got minus sign, you people forget to multiply with minus sign. Okay, so you have to keep this thing in mind that whenever you have got minus outside any bracket, then whatever sign is there inside the bracket, those sign will get opposite. Okay, so for example, the sign of A here is plus, so it becomes minus. Similarly, the sign of 1 here is plus, so here it became minus. All right. Okay. So we don't have any problem out here. We don't have minus here. So the sign remains same. So 9 into A is 9A. 9 into 3 is 27. All right. So our next job is going to be take all the unknowns to the left hand side. So here we have got only 9A. So this comes here becomes minus 9A. So this um, minus 4 goes over there becomes plus 4. This plus 30 goes over there becomes minus 30. Simplify this. Okay. So minus and minus. So both of them have same sign, so that's why they will get added. So 9 plus 4 is 13, but remember, sign is going to be the same, okay? If we are not multiplying here, we are just adding, okay? If we multiply, minus into minus becomes plus, but since we are not multiplying, so that's why it will remain as it is, okay? So when you simplify this, this will turn out to be 1, okay? So 13, now, we have got the sign of 6a is plus, and the sign of... 13a is minus. Again, they have opposite signs. So, they will get subtracted. So, subtract 6 from 13. So, you will get 7, right? But the bigger one is having negative sign. So, that's why it will be having negative sign. So, we have minus 7a out here equals to 1. And take this minus to the denominator, okay? So, only a will be left here. So, a will turn out to be minus 1 by 7, okay? So, this will be your answer for this particular question. Now, let me take the last question for you for the day. Okay. So that is question number 17. Now, again, here we have got multiplication sign. If you don't have any sign in between two brackets, then there must be a multiplication sign over there. Similarly, you have here multiplication sign. Okay. So, we need to find the value of unknown that is x from this particular equation. So, it's very easy to multiply. Just see carefully. Okay. First, we'll multiply with this x to this whole, okay? And how much ever is left, we'll multiply again with that number to the another number in the bracket. What am I trying to say is written out here. So, for example, here I have multiplied 
this full quantity that is x plus 3 with only x okay and how much is left now minus 5 is left now I am multiplying minus 5 with x plus 3 hope the thing is clear to you the same thing I am going to do out here as well so I will multiply this x plus 4 only with x okay so x into x plus 4 is kept here now what is left minus 7 is left so I will multiply this minus 7 with the rest of the thing that is minus 7 into x plus 4 now the rest of the job is very easy right so we will just multiply in order to open the bracket so we have x into x is x is square plus x into 3 is 3x all right so x into x is x is square 3 into x is 3x now again as i said since we have got minus okay you have to be very careful whatever sign is there inside bracket that will get opposite sign okay so minus 5 okay so first let us multiply with 5 5 into x is 5x the sign of x here is plus so that's why it becomes minus okay similarly this sign is plus so becomes minus 5 into 3 is 15 similarly let us multiply this so x into x is x is square x into 4 is 4x right so we have plus sign outside that's why the sign will remain as it is so again here we have got minus sign here so again the sign will get opposite okay so here we have got minus again the sign of x here is minus 7 into x is 7x 7 into 4 is 28 okay okay now x square and x square if they are on the opposite sides and they have got the same sign for example here x square got plus sign here also x square have got plus sign so they will get cancelled here only okay so i have not shown here but in your text or exercise copy i want to see that this and this gets cancelled okay so here 3x minus 5x is how much 3x minus 5x is minus 2x all right so that's what is written here and minus 15 is left so minus 15 so again this x square is gone already so 4x minus 7x is minus 3x and minus 28 is left take this 3x over there and take this 15 to the right hand side okay so this becomes plus out here and this minus 15 becomes plus out here okay so 3x minus 2x is x and 28 15 minus 28 is minus 13 as you all know the rule for subtracting right okay so you have to write the sign of the bigger number that is minus okay so this is these are the problems for the day that I have shown you okay so tomorrow onwards we'll see the next set of problems so for you I've given you three homeworks okay so that is question number 13 15 and 16 so try the sounds by yourself and submit the assignment to me all right so Thank you very much.